The Public Facilities District and the Mariners reached a deal on a 25-year lease extension of the ballpark known right now as Safeco Field. It includes two options which could keep the Mariners in Soto through 2049. It comes after relatively quiet negotiations over the last several months. The M's lease currently ends at the end of this year. The terms also call for the Mariners to pay $55 million in rent over the next 25 years and designate specific amounts for capital expenditures and improvements. But it also calls for a public subsidy and a share of the county hotel motel tax. King County Executive Dow Constantine forwarded that recommendation to the County Council today, which by one estimate could be upwards of $180 million in tax revenue over 25 years. Here's what Constantine had to say about it, followed by PFD Board Chair Virginia Anderson and Mariners Executive Vice President Fred Rivera. It's a relatively small percentage of the total tourism tax stream. But our term sheet is not reliant on the county council to approve or not approve that amount of money. We'll have to address that if that if that comes. In our discussions with the PFD, we came up with a finance plan to take care of our capital needs, and always in that plan has been contribution from the hotel motel tax. The vote today was 5-2 to approve this lease, with one board member specifically citing the subsidy as a reason for a no vote. The M say the lease will allow them to keep up the roof, seats, carpeting, and the nuts and bolts of the building. However, it sounds like there will be opposition to the taxes, with King County Council member Dave Upthegrove already releasing a statement late this afternoon saying, quote, the Seattle Mariners are a profitable private company that can and should pay their own expenses. We'll keep you posted.